Welcome to LightPoint Labs. Today we're going to talk about the Air Strata G, the fourth generation of our Strata product line. For the last five years, the Flight Strata G has been our best selling FSO product. Why has it been so popular? It has got all of the features and benefits that you would want for a free space optic solution. Multiple transmitters, the silver rings on the outside, multiple receivers, which are the large lenses, a built-in telescope, and a built-in defroster. This unit also has automatic tracking. Internally, we have a single unit array that allows the unit to adjust and pivot based on the circumstances surrounding your installation. For instance, a diurnal movement, that's building expansion and contraction. Also, building sway. Again, automatic tracking compensates for a certain amount of movement. Additionally, it has automatic gain control, another very popular feature of the Flight Strata product line. The automatic, track, automatic gain control allows the unit, especially in close distances, to have a phenomenal amount of fade margin. So taking all of those extremely popular and really necessary features, we built the Air Strata, keeping those features in place. We then took into consideration the most popularly requested features. Those features are power over Ethernet instead of AC power and a GUI and a built-in SNMP solution. So when you open up the back of the unit, you'll see some familiar aspects such as the telescope in the center and the tracking switch, but you'll notice all of the inputs have changed drastically. First and foremost is we now have PoE. We use a non-standard high-powered PoE. We provide the injector when you purchase the system. That goes into the PoE and management port at which time the unit will go through its boot sequence, which is a two-step phase. First, it's launching the software boot sequence, but it is also launching the hardware boot, which is the internal motors activating and aligning the system within its X and Y axes, as well as opening up the AC AGC to allow maximum input. This boot-up sequence takes about three minutes and that encompasses both the soft and the hardware boot up. During this time you will hear the motors running. It is important that the tracker is in the off position. During the entire alignment process the tracker needs to be in the off position. Once you have aligned the system the way that you need it, you will tighten up the bolts on the pan and tilt mechanism. Once those are tightened and you still have your maximum amount of signal strength, in which case overload is okay, you will then, and only then, turn on the tracking mechanism. At which time both the tracker and the AGC kick in. If you have more than seven bars of signal strength, it will slowly bring that signal strength down to seven bars and hover between six and eight bars, just like the flight strata. For the data, we used to be a fiber solution. We now have the option of both fiber and copper. So, in this case, I have a fiber port, uh, I mean a copper, that I'm going to plug right into data port 2. This is a 100-1000 port. You can now connect that up to your switch down below. If you wish, we also have an open SFP port. This is an optional feature. We sell an SX GBIC, an LX GBIC, and an RJ45 GBIC. So you have your option of running standard copper or fiber, depending on the length of your run. The unit runs on our standard air manager platform. This is a unified platform across our air beam, air light, and now air strata product lines. This platform gives you both a GUI web interface for monitoring and managing, and it also provides you with SNMP. Additionally, just like on our air beams and air lights, you have the option of in-band or out-of-band management. We really hope you enjoy your purchase of the Air Strata. 
Thank you, and we'll see you next time at LightPoint Labs.